Hey guys, welcome to Daintree JD. Today we're heading out to Mowbray to look at some suspected uh, legal fishing and hunting of natural resources such as turtle and dugong by people who are not traditional owners to this part of the country. Hunting in these areas and in other people's country um, on, in Australia is quite um, quite an issue and creates a lot of problems as we move forward. If you are aware of illegal fishing or hunting and um, let me know what you think um, about hunting of traditional foods etc and um, sustainability. In my view things can be done sustainably, they should be, um, and if not then they shouldn't be. But my job is uh, the protection of these natural resources uh, in the interest of the traditional owners in these, this part of the world. So sit back, uh, have a watch, leave a comment and let me know what you think. So as we progress along the road here um, towards the river system um, of Mowbray, we're coming upon a old boat ramp which is still used but it's not supposed to be used and uh, it's been reported that this is where the illegal fishing or contraband fishing is actually occurring, whether that's with traditional methods or not. Um, if they're not traditional owners for this part of the country, then they shouldn't be here hunting. So I've just come down, taking a few photos and identifying a few of the vehicles that are in the location to build my evidence base and see, see what I find. You can see it's very, very... Um, well, it's fairly isolated here, uh, no lights, and it's a potential place where this type of activity can occur because it's not a commonly used boat ramp. So illegal or unlawful traditional hunting is probably one of the biggest issues that I can think of with really far-reaching um, problems that develop or arise because people come into country that doesn't belong to them and they take resources that may actually be totally protected by those traditional owners. However, those hunters that come in have depleted those resources or they're so hard to get in their particular areas that they move into to other traditional um, waters and take these animals such as dugong and um, turtle and um, this is all done without generally without any support of the traditional owners it is actually unlawful and a traditional owner would need to be out in that vessel and do the hunting to make that a lawful event and um, it, it, these hunters oftentimes when they come in here unlawfully they're also selling this so they'll sell it through their own communities, which creates that um, that um, extra um, added pressure because people now want those foods more and more and can buy it um, when they can't go it themselves. So that puts pressure in a different kind of way and it forces those people to hunt and they, they come into these areas. So yeah, really bad issues um, occurring here at the moment and uh, recently we had a jugong that was tied up and um, put on the bottom of the ocean to a little calf so that the mother would follow it in and they would kill it um, pretty sad that was in the news just recently we don't want that stuff illegal fishermen or unlawful um, traditional owners hunting in this area i need to get out we don't we don't agree with it don't support it um, and it's something that I'll do my best to run compliance on and uh, with support of other departments prosecute.
Well, Chibas, no luck on this um, compliance run. It's both good and bad, but uh, I have a lot more leads and I'm getting very close, so I believe I'll be able to identify these people soon. So stay tuned. I'll let you know after the event. Cheers.